Man, you are extremely important. Please don't destroy your marriage like I did because I didn't realize just how important I was. Because whether you realize it or not, you affect everything in your relationship, positively or negatively. You are so important to the health and the maturity of your relationships. And here's what I know, if you're anything like me, you want more sex and less fighting with your wife. Well, here's how to get it. You seize the amazing opportunity you have in your marriage and you create something great with her. Something better than what your parents or grandparents had. Dr. John Gottman has been researching marriages for 40 years and this is what he says about a husband's influence in his relationship. People always ask me, why do you focus on more men than women? Well, two reasons. One, I am one. And two, because of this. Research shows that what men do in a relationship is by a large margin the crucial factor that separates a great relationship from a failed one. This does not mean that a woman doesn't need to do her part, but the data proves that a man's actions are the key variable that determines whether a relationship succeeds or fails. And listen, I know what you're gonna say. Yeah, but this goes both ways. Don't put everything on me. Absolutely it goes both ways. And she has things she needs to do differently, but this video is about you. See, I see a dangerous trend in the comments. If the video is about what women need to do differently, the men say, well, you better listen up, ladies. But if the video is about what you need to do differently, you complain, hey, this goes both ways. Why are you putting everything on me? Okay, but at what point are you receiving advice and acting on it? Because it doesn't seem like you're doing that in either video. You wanna know what makes the biggest difference in marriage? You wanna know what sets people up to fail? Not taking any accountability or personal responsibility for what's going on in their marriages. The fastest way to kill your marriage is by thinking, not my problem. Hey, this thing would be fine if they would just stop complaining. She's the problem. He's the problem. This isn't my problem. Guess where that marriage is going? Nowhere. Except maybe more distance and more disconnection than before. You're the leader in this home. You don't want to take any accountability for her issues? Fine. What accountability have you taken for yours? Because I find too often that we can't think of any issues on our side. That's called pride, and it destroys more marriages than anything else. I don't care which spouse is doing it. So what type of leader do you want to be? I'm a Christian, and we were this close to divorce, and I had to decide, do I actually believe, or do I just say I do? Am I loving her as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her? Am I prioritizing her needs and desires above my own, as Philippians 2 says? And guess what? My wife had issues, as we all do. And I could have said, I'll deal with my stuff once you get your stuff figured out. But I decided to lead. I decided to go first and take accountability for how I was conducting myself in this marriage. The way I reacted, the words that I chose to speak, the fights that we got in, my emotional ignorance, the fact that I didn't know what intimacy or vulnerability or validation or healthy conflict resolution even was. We all want to be a leader, right? Well, I decided to become the lead confessor, the lead apologizer, the lead repenter, the lead servant. Not just the physical protector of the home, but the emotional protector. I decided to encourage and invite her feelings instead of wish she didn't have any. I decided to give her a safe place to share what's on her heart. I decided to start completely over, get rid of the ways I was doing marriage, and take everything back to the drawing board. Assumptions, expectations, chores, who works, who takes care of what? How do we both feel loved most? How can we avoid feeling neglected? How are we going to handle conflict? All of that stuff. And we decided we're not going to fight anymore with criticism and blame and yelling. That doesn't work, so why are we doing it? We decided to learn how to handle conflict and compromise and actually serve each other. I was so resistant to changing. I mean, we think it's a threat to our independence, right? But it's not. You want to know what the crazy thing is? More independence is actually found by prioritizing emotional connection with her instead of ignoring it. When she feels safe and loved and valued, she's far less likely to care about all those hunting trips you want to take. And listen, this is already longer than I wanted it to be. So for the one guy who's still listening, Frank, understand that you are so valuable to the success or failure of your relationship. Don't let that weight crush you. Step into that leadership role that God has called you to, and through his strength, become the husband he's called you to become. Thanks for listening. I'll see you in the next one. Oh yeah, and subscribe to my YouTube, please.